What's up everybody, it's Nerp here. Today we're gonna play some Judgment. Quick uh, rating and ranking update. I'm on my alt account right now, but my number one account is all the way at 1995 because I just recently played PewQ and beat him in ranked. So he's all the way down to like 1940 or something and I'm at 1995. I think I'm gonna hold off on going to 2000 achievement because I, I really want that achievement, but I don't want to risk losing 30 points and stuff for a loss. So I think I'll probably just wait till PewQ or Blinky catches up to me so I can try to get past them and then maybe get to 2000 on the way. Um, yeah, so alt account right now is number four. The reason I'm gonna do this judgment video on my alt account is because I have a judgment deck on my main account that I have not finished yet. So, yeah. It's not the last one from the last judgment video. I just I just drafted another deck. So here we go. And I guess a Yarl points out to me. Um, and a Ragged Wolf. That's probably our best bet. But seven growth is a lot. Chances we have enough growth to go to seven growth is slim. Now up here, I think I should just go with the Wing Soldier just because it's a warm body, a nice creature. So I'll go with the Wing Soldier. Um, I'll go with the Yarl just for the fact that we might be able to get there. Especially the Bear School, so I'll take the Ragged Wolf. Um, maybe Frost Spirit here. Here I'll take the Spark. In case we go to Energy, that's going to be useful. Sister of the Bear. Ooh, Sister of the Owl is cool. Alright, this is going to be nice. I think this is going to be a nice growth deck here. Frost Beard. Imperial Resources, wow. Um, hmm. champion ring, or do we go for the wing soldier kabonk? Because we do have, if we do have uh, some order. Uh, I'm gonna go for the wing soldier. It's just better than champion ring. I could always go just two order and have uh, that as my order splash. So I'll take that. Uh, sister the owl definitely. Okay, now we're not as much in the uh, growth, so I guess it was good that I went for a little bit of order, because I'm not going to take this Imperial Resources, but I have a Wing seal Shield and Ducal Skirmisher here, so I could go to those things. I'll start with the Wing Shield, though, and now we have this to uh, aid my order. Now I'll take the Ducal Skirmisher. Sister the Bear is cool. Here, I don't know, I guess I'll just take the Cannon, even though I'm probably not going to play it. Uh, this, this, Harvester is cool, so is Cursemonger, but I think we're definitely going to be Growth Order, so, I mean, Tempo Theft Harvester could be awesome, and for that, or no, I, I need to take the Memorial for Growth, yeah, I'm going to take the Memorial for Growth, you now the Wing Soldier, Breaker is awesome, now, I could actually go for some big energy things with the machinated iron ogre and like I had like a few sparks and a cannon auto but we have lots of order and growth stuff and I think I'll take the druid burial ground here over their kind of strength um purification just for fun another frost beard maybe yeah now, Aging Knight or Wing Shield? I think Wing Shield is better, so I'll take the Wing Shield. Um, another Frost Beard. Uh, Ripper, I guess, even though I'm probably not in Decay. I'll just take this Decay stuff. I don't think I'll be using it. This gives energy. This gives energy, so I'll take the Crone. I mean, I could go into energy, but I think we want to take this Ancestral Shun on the Sister of the Fox, which is good for growth. Yeah, and then a Frost Scale is nice. Looks good. Frost scale, and now we have a stone packed memorial that gives order, so we'll take that. Um, magnetizer, or we have breaker, Criswell. It's gonna be a tough choice. I think we have to go with the breaker, though. A nice, a nice, awesome creature. Um, ancestral pact or magnetizer? I think we have to go with the ancestral pact. That could be nice to use to get a lot of cards. So I'll go with that. Um, I don't know. What oh, nice we have a Brother of the Wolf. Uh, Blessing of Haste is nice also. 
I'll take the breaker over the crimson bolt. I'll take the brother of the wolf over the blessing of haste. These brother of the wolves are awesome. Oh, God hands, let's go. Alright, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I don't even care what I'm taking here. By the way, I'm a test server. The road was just buffed, so now you could target um, enemy structures as well. So that completely changes the card around. Now it goes from absolutely terrible to maybe actually pretty good. So, yeah. Um, I'll go with the Frost Scale. So now I have a Pseudo Quake. I got the God Hand. I have the Sister of the Owl. There's like a Mount of Growth there. Oh, Quake! <laughs> I didn't even see that. And a Sister of the Barrier. Awesome. Okay. Rat King. Alright, this is really cool. This reminds me of that other growth deck I've had in uh, Judgment of, I think, two Judgment videos ago on my channel. That one had more wool, great wolves and stuff. But this one certainly has some other nice growth features. New orders, so I can really hop around the board. Um, hmm. Oh, I know. Alright, whatever. Let's see. We're nearing the end of our draft. How many growth cards do we have? 25 we could go mono growth but i don't think we're gonna be able to i think we want to go in order we have enough order things to just go to two order i think maybe i'll just take the spark and i can have a little bit of energy and then take the desperation yeah i'll take the spark over the ducal stream and i don't think we're going to be getting to four order so spark Desperation. Um, this is tough. I think I'm going to take the Kabankia. Yeah. And now the Woodland or the Royal Infantryman. We want to get to eight growth because of the because of the God Hand. We also go into six and seven for the Sister, the Owl, and the Jarl. So I think we want this Woodland War over the Royal Infantryman. A lot of creatures, including a Rack King, such as the Owl. So that's a lot of spam. And then a Heritage. We'll see if we can fit that in. Okay. We'll start with Growth. In, in. Definitely in, in. Maybe in. We'll see. Definitely in. Definitely in, definitely in, definitely in. Okay. Looks good, this deck. Uh, I don't know if we need two stone packs. Okay, so those are definitely ins in the growth side of things. Very nice. And then let's go to order. Um, where do we want to be in energy more? Nah, we only have a couple sparks to put in. Let's see. So if I cost... Let's throw in a Kabonk. The three wing soldiers. The two woodland memorials. And the new orders that keeps it under three and now let's fill out the rest with growth so i have 13 creatures the three frost beards are cool and the two stone packs there we go that's your deck 16 creatures pretty nice it's a growth order awesome so i think this is a five for five deck and nice we found our match right away Always nice to see that in a video. Large Ice Coffee. I know him. He is uh, pretty active on um, in the scrolls community, like on Reddit and stuff. So I've seen around. He is decay in this judgment match, or maybe he's just going for decay first. Now, hmm, I think I'll sack this one more for growth, and I will not play that Ragged Wolf yet. Maybe I could have played the Ragged Wolf, then I could play the Stone Pack Memorial next turn. But, I was going to say, in case you played anything, I'd rather use a Ragged Wolf on that. But I don't think it's a perfect idea. I think we're going to be able to hold off on this Stone Pack for a little while. I don't think we're going to... We have, like, 24 or so growth cards in here. So we may not even have to go into the order. And I think all these cards are more valuable. Maybe not the Frostbeard, but we'll see. I'd like to hold on to that Yarl until I can play it, because the Yarl is going to be awesome with all these creatures in the deck, like Rat King and stuff, and the God Hand. So, if I have to sack it, I'll sack it for something so I can get more board control earlier. But, I'm 
okay with sacking it. Okay, frost beer we're gonna sack. He's now with sister the owl. I'm going to you could uneasy alliance or something, which would kill my breaker anyways, so I'll just put you in front. Move you back. So hopefully he doesn't have any buff to kill any ragged wolf. If he does, it won't be a huge deal because I'll be able to put down a rack king next turn, fill up my board again. And then I only have to spend one turn wasting a sack and just not doing anything. Okay. That is actually a problem. That means this guy will draw an extra card every other turn. It's going to take a while for me to kill it. 8 health. That's what Eager Sugar does. So now Fungify means every other turn it's going to have 2 count time, which means he's going to draw an extra card. It's going to take a while for me to kill that, but we have a good deck, so I'm not worried. If that's his only threat, then we're good. I hope he doesn't put some like uneasy alliances on it though, or some other kinds of buffs. So next turn I will probably sack whatever comes up for resources, right? And just not play anything this turn. And then I will play the Jarl the next turn, that sounds like a good idea. Or I mean the Sister of the Owl next turn and then the Jarl. Uh, and you're just going to do that. Look good. So now it sounds a 4 health. Not too hard to destroy. And all I did last turn was play a Ripper, so that's not too hard to deal with. Draining Mist, that is annoying. I had 4 things attacking. Okay, well you didn't really play anything, so not a huge deal. So, uh, sack the Stone Pack Memorial. So yeah, we might not even need the order. Um, I'm gonna keep you in the middle here so you're on par with this guy so you can kill him next turn if I'm able to. And then I'll play the Sister of the Owl. Um, I want a nice little central location here. That looks good. I mean, if you have like a double return to nature, I will cry, but Chances he got a double return to nature and judgment are so slim and that it's in its hand. Like, come on. Okay. And let's see. Hopefully he doesn't have like a witch doctor or anything. And he does. But who cares? We have all these things and we're playing a Yarl this turn. Sucks I have to sack a sister of the bear, but a Yarl getting out this turn is awesome. Um, so I guess I'll kill that thing now. It will summon a house, which is annoying. But, I mean, fine. It would be nice actually to play the Yarl next turn, because the Yarl has an inspiring one, which means all the adjacent units will gain plus one attack. But, I mean, I think it's just better to get it out this turn, actually. So that. Um, it's going to attack in two turns after that, which is what we really want. So, Jarl. There we go. And if we, hopefully I don't draw the God Hand right now. I want to draw, draw something else so I can sack up cards. And the Draining Mist. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> All those guys are attacking. Darn. Okay, hopefully it doesn't have like a billion Draining Mist. Draining Mist used to be common, so we, we just have so many. Alright, good, we got the Quake. We weren't going to play it anyways, considering. Look what we have and look what he has. Almost a cast. We're not going to Frost Scale. I have all this stuff. I would lose one, two, three, four things. That would be a bad idea. Um, hmm. The girl's going to be great for getting into the Witch, the witch Doctor. Uh, let's see. I think it's going to be wise to go like this um i want to move you up i actually want the brother of the wolf yeah the brother of the wolf and not one of these little owls or rats in front of the Jarl. Because in case he has like a soul steal or something. Or like one return to nature. I don't want him to be able to kill the Jarl by moving. By using the 5 attack on the uh, witch doctor and the 2 attack on the ripper to kill it. So this ensures my Jarl survives. I am sacrificing a brother over like a rat which is annoying. 
but I think that our advantage this game is strong enough we'll be able to overcome that little loss we just have to make sure we're allowed to make a few like not optimal plays with our advantage at the moment and we just want to make sure we maintain that advantage so he is killing two things this turn but I have a uh, Yarl that will likely attack for nine next turn and is that it? If so, I will plow through everything. And I have a 5 attack breaker. Okay. Interesting he puts that on the breaker and not the Yarl. But I guess the Yarl is 6 health, so it wouldn't really affect it that much. Um, Frost Scale I will sacrifice because I don't really want to Frost Scale with all my stuff. Okay. Not bad. I'll play the Druid and the Frostbeard this turn. Now let's see. I should probably kill the witch doctor, but believe it or not, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kill the rod eater and this husk. I think that's going to be a good idea. Yeah. So like that, and then I'm going to keep you there move you down put this druid burial ground so in case he does stuff I have stuff to heal with put the frost beard so the frost beard in the front because if he kills the Frostbeard, we get like a Crimson Bolt because I get plus two, uh, I get plus two attack on my other units. So we kind of want him to kill the Frostbeard. At this point in the game, getting Crimson Bolt is more important than just one creature that will attack every three turns. Mire Curse. That kills a lot of stuff. That's annoying. Um, I guess it was good that we got this Burial Ground down. It makes our Frostbeard survive, I guess. Uh, Alright, that's annoying, that Mire Curse. I guess I could have played around that a little bit better. But, really, what am I going to do? Okay, so now the sister is stuck doing nothing. Sack that for cards, and now we have some more cool stuff. This is actually a problem, that Mire Curse, because he gets buff from the things around it. Um, I think we want to get that totem down, to be honest. But I mean, I was going to kill this thing anyways, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually not going to get the totem down this turn. Let's see. Put you down up there. Uh, I know the Mario Curse is going to hit some stuff, but we'll have to take it. Now, if he has stuff to kill this, he can kill my Yarl this turn, which would be annoying. He only has two cards, though. Chances to be able to do that is pretty slim. And if he kills this and my Euro survives, it has much more attack. And so does this Breaker. So that's nice. And we can slot down an Ancestral Totem next turn. Which is really cool also. And we, as we know, Decay has a hard time destroying those things. Okay, so he's moving down. That makes me feel good. That means he's probably not going to be able to kill my Euro this turn. Um... Let's see we could move this breaker i mean there's a burial ground so we could, if we move him to the burial ground he'll be able to move with his shearing shackles because he'll be healed every so often so that's a plus next turn we'll probably sack that wing soldier for cards maybe i can get a god hand soon all right that kills two of my creatures 
Um, hey, why didn't this guy heal up from the markers? Hmm. Maybe he did. I, I don't know what just happened. I didn't really notice. Sack the wing soldiers for cards. Okay. If I... But answer to them, I have six, which would do not that much. Okay, I still ancestor totem. I'll go like this. That's four. And now you can't. Oh yeah, you actually can't move now because of the. Uh, Because it has two health, so it would just immediately die. I'll go with a. Breaker. And a. And a totem up here. Okay. It could make you have six attack, but I don't think it's a huge deal getting the one extra damage on that witch doctor. I could have moved him back, but I think it's. Well, I guess I probably should have because you would heal from the burial ground. So I don't know. Maybe I made a misplay there. I probably should have moved him back to give you six attack. I would. I, should, I would have just taken the marker. So now you can move down and kill this thing. But. It was really just attacking some random creatures. I mean, it would be nice to keep that guy out there, just keep attacking idols. But I think we're fine. If I can top deck a god hand soon, that would be awesome. I want to get that witch doctor out of here. Four cards in his hand. He could do a lot of things. Okay. So no human in front of the witch doctor, so it won't be that hard. Interesting. Brain lice on him. Very interesting. Brain lice, and not just moving the husk down to kill it. I don't agree with that play. I think he should have brain lice one of my other guys, like this breaker, something like that. God hand, nice. We can't use it this turn, but we have it though. Um, so now, I guess, I don't know what I want to do here. What does this mean? Okay. I'm going to move you up. I'm taking the, uh. The what's it called? The um, the Mara curse damage and all these guys, but these guys are gonna get healed up by this barrel ground unless he moves down and destroys it, which would be a good idea for him. I'll put the sister of the bear all the way up here, and now play the An ancestral pact. So now, if he destroys my frost beard or something, we get a card back. Whatever he does, we're getting a card. Yeah. So he can destroy my seven attack, uh, my seven attack Frostbeard. This is probably what he's going to do. And then I get a Crimson Ball on all my guys, which is really only my Yarl, because, well, I guess six attack on the Breaker is cool, but it's probably just going to kill a small unit. So he is destroying the Burial Ground, not the, um, not the Frostbeard. Fine. So I take some poison damage, not a huge deal considering now I have a 7 attack frost we are attacking. And we have a god hand, so we'll still probably be able to kill that whole row. Can we win? That's a big question if we can win or not. We would not have to do much. I don't think we can win. Our guys are not positioned at the correct places to win. Well, okay. I think we're going to God Hand because now, 
if I move, I don't attack. So yeah, I'm going to God Hand this turn. New orders won't help against spell it. Yeah, it won't. Okay. Um, I could Frost Scale. Nah, I'm just gonna God Hand. So I'm not gonna God Hand yet. I'm gonna move first. Let's see, can I win? No, I can't. But I can kill his stuff. Let's see if you have eight attack. That's one, two, and that's going to have four, so that's six. So that's uh, six plus four is ten, so that'll be eight attack. Um, and then you have five attack there. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. So. I want to destroy this thing, so I'll move you down. I'll move you up. And now, God hand, right? Uh, I'm, there's going to be a husk here. I maybe could have prevented that, but I don't know. I don't think it's a big deal. Maybe we could have won. I don't think so. If we could have, I think we still have a huge advantage. That's not going to be a big deal. Okay. And he may or may not have rage quit. Or I don't know what he did. All right. Well, he surrendered. So there's one win out of the way. Sorry, that's just the garage. And that was fun. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video off here. I'm actually going to start streaming on Twitch now. If you don't know, I stream on Twitch pretty frequently. A lot of judgment and stuff. So go follow me on there. Link in the description. And thanks for watching the video, everybody. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content. And keep on scrolling. See ya.